Welcome back to Disappointment Ranch. In this video, I get to share my pet project, which has been the cushions for our F550 Overland rig. Let's get started. The foam came. So these are cushions for the dinette area, which is basically going to be our living room for the rig. So for types of foam, we have a four inch high resilience foam in the firmness medium firm, and then a topper for it in memory foam, which is just one inch firmness soft. And then for the back, we just have a solid five inch block of high density foam in the firmness soft. So you might be wondering why we have a different foam for the back than the bottom here, and why we just have three different types of foam. So we have the high resilience as kind of the springs of the cushion and the bulk of it, and then memory foam on top for a nice cushy top layer so that it's nice and soft and just forms to you when you're sitting on it. So we have a block of high density for the back and high resilience for the bottom. You can use the high density for either the back or the bottom, but I'm using it as a back here because it's a step below high resilience foam for quality. And I'm just using it for the back because it's less expensive than high resilience while still working perfectly well as a back and it's not going to wear out much faster than the high resilience that's on the bottom. So you might have heard me say firmness and density a few different times. So the firmness of the foam is basically how soft it is. And firmness and density have nothing to do with each other. You can have a very dense foam while still having it very soft or firm. So something like memory foam here is a very soft firmness while still being quite a high density foam. High density means that it's generally a higher quality. The memory foam is the highest density, then the high resilience foam, and then the high density foam, even though the names are a bit confusing with that. So depending on your weight, you'll want either a softer or a more firm kind of foam. So we have a medium firm here. It goes anywhere from extra soft to extra firm. We got our foam from a site called Foam Online, which you can get them custom cut, which is what we did, or you can get them in sheets, and that might be easier depending on what size cushions you're doing. Also, depending on your budget, you might be using high density as the base and back for your cushions, or you might be using Lux foam. So I'd say for quality for foam, you have at the top, like the for foam is latex rubber foam, which is like mold resistant, it's super comfy, it's just the best, but extremely, extremely expensive. So we have what is about a step down from that, which is high resilience foam. So that still offers a lot of great benefits, like the uh, density of it, which means it'll last a nice long time. And then to save some money, we have the back as high density foam, which won't last as long, but it doesn't matter as much because it's not as the base, it's getting less wear as the back than it is the base. Then a step down from high density foam is Lux foam. Lux foam is a great price, but it won't last as long as a lot of the other foams. So I'd say for a good quality cushion that you want to last a decent amount of time, you could use high density as the base for it, and then Lux foam as the backing. I'd say that's a good cheap one, or you could use Lux for the base, probably cheapest option. If you want to go all out, then I totally recommend rubber latex foam, but it's really, really expensive. So those are the base foams, and then you have pretty much just memory foam for a topper to add extra comfort and cushiness to the top which you wouldn't have to have, but it's nice so you don't have to worry as much about the density of your foam beneath it, because you wouldn't want to sit just on this. Because it's a little bit firm for if it was just by itself, but since we have the memory foam on here, it works really well because for eating or sitting up here, it offers support so that we can sit straight up without sinking back down into it, but the memory foam still keeps it nice and comfortable for when you're just sitting straight up. So in addition to having these foams and then a casing for it, we're going to wrap it in Dacron and that gives it an extra puffy look. And also over time as you sit on it, the foam will start to degrade where you're sitting on it and that's where you get almost puddling on your cushions. So Dacron kind of helps lessen that effect because it can kind of fill in the gaps where it's started to wear away. And then on top of the Dacron and the foam, we're going to have custom leather covers for it because these cushions are weird sizes. So in addition to the Dacron and the leather, we're going to have a backer board on the back of the 
high density foam. So that's gonna allow us to lift the whole cushion up and have access to the area beneath it just by removing the cushion. We wanna have a backer board on it so that the cushion doesn't start to fall through those holes at all, large enough to reach through and get anything from the garage that we want. Depending on the size of your cushions, you might also be able to buy a couch and then just use cushions from there. I believe IKEA uses either high density or high resilience with a memory topper on the base cushions as well. So if your cushions fit that size, then feel free to scavenge those along with any other cushion you like too. So hope this helped. Cows are big. Cows are big. You get him out of here. That was pretty. I like it. Me too. What do you think? Wow. Those are beautiful. Wow. Let's put them in. Going up an incline. I'm putting it in. <laughs> I've waited long enough. This way it goes back. Oh, it slides right in. Perfect. It fits perfectly. It's firmer than I was expecting. Yeah, it is. I think the backrests are a really good height. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They seem way harder than they were before. Yeah, they do. Something doesn't seem right. Yeah, because before they were like perfect. Mm -hmm. So, as you just saw, when we first got our cushions back, we were a bit surprised at how much firmer they had become. We are guessing that the air isn't able to escape as well as we were expecting, and that the foam will sort of break in once we start using them more. But in the meantime, they are still very comfortable for both sitting and lounging. The best way I can describe them right now is that they are a bit like the seats in a car, where at first they feel a bit firm, but once you are sitting on them, they form to you and are very comfortable, especially for long periods of time. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. See you in the next one. Move. Move.